Today's video is about Amorous Purum by Maison Francis Curchon. Now is this fragrance on par with the other Maison Francis Curchon fragrances? Is it as good? Is it worth splurging the cash? Because with Maison Francis Curchon, you do splurge when you buy a fragrance. Well, I'll be telling you whether it's worth it or not in this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Josephine and on this channel we talk about fragrances. It is already day 11 of my Christmas series, which is crazy. We only have two days left. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun to film all these videos. So today is about Améris Pour Homme by Maison Francis Curjean. So I'll be telling you everything that you need to know about Améris Pour Homme. So, this fragrance is a fresh, almost soapy clean type of fragrance with a warm base and a little bit of spiciness. So it opens with some mandarin and sage. So you're gonna get that freshness, a little bit of juiciness and slight fruitiness from mandarin. So it opens up bright. And you also get some sweetness from tonka bean. There's some coffee apparently in this scent. I don't really smell coffee. And you also have some chocolate, which again, I don't really get. I get an underlying sweetness, but more of a fruitiness rather than something that is really indulgent. Now, the one thing I'm gonna say is this perfume smells like a designer scent, but at a niche price. Yes. That's exactly it. To me, this screams designer, but it is really expensive. It, this is a really expensive fragrance. Just like all Maison Francis Curjean fragrances, it is an investment. And this to me smells designer. This fragrance reminds me of three designer colognes. The first one is Chanel Allurum Sport Eau Extreme, minus the powder. So this is very powdery, but Améris Pour Homme isn't powdery, but it has a shower gel-like cleanliness, a squeaky cleanliness that Allurum Sport Eau Extreme has blended with a warm base of tonka bean. So that is a similarity that I pick out with this scent. The second designer fragrance is Boss Bottled Intense by Hugo Boss. And what is reminiscent about it is this fruitiness, this like green apple note that is blended with spices. Now I'm not saying there's green apple or an apple note within Améris Pour Homme, but for me it is a little bit reminiscent of that fruity, playful side that you can find in Hugo Boss Boss Bottled Intense. And the final scent is really more for the depth, the power, and also the likability. It is One Million by Paco Rabanne, and it's more in the dry down that you're gonna get the effect rather than when you first spray this fragrance. So essentially, it is a mix of these sweet perfumes, but it does create its own fragrance. In terms of occasion, this is a great scent to wear during spring and summertime. It is fresh, it has the typical fresh DNA with some warm tonka bean in the base. So it's great to wear for the warmer months. It's super casual, very effortless and versatile. So you'll get a lot of use out of it within those warmer months. I know I may be upsetting some people because Amaris Pour Homme is very much loved. However, I would not recommend this scent because why would you spend a high amount of money on a fragrance, on a niche fragrance that smells like a designer. You can find something that smells similar to it within the designer realm. Why would you splurge on it? That is my thoughts with regards to this fragrance. Now, I love Maison Francis Curjean fragrances. I love Baccarat Rouge. I love Gentle Fluidity, Oud Satin Mood, Oud Silk Mood. I absolutely love this house. But if there's one fragrance that I do not recommend getting, is Amaris Pour Homme. I think you're better off saving your money and going for a designer fragrance. So that was my review on Amaris Pour Homme. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Let me know in the comments down below if you like Amaris Pour Homme, if you think it's worth it. Uh, I would love to know. <laughs> and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for one last daily upload and it will be a really good one. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Bye.